Michael Strahan called me because they were friends. And he had said, can you set me up with her? And I looked him up and I was like, no. I mean, no. <laughs> Why he, did he you say that? Hey guys, welcome to the official YouTube page for Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa. This is where you can watch all of our ridiculous conversations and fun interviews. Mm -hmm. We have full shows, we've got pre-games, anything and everything that you guys could want. But first, you're going to have to subscribe. Just hit subscribe right there and you're good to go. And now you can calm down with us. Yep. Can you tell that we're reading this off the script? We hope so. All right. We need to calm down and wrap this bad boy up. Press subscribe. Thanks for listening. Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. Ooh, a lot of anonymous. Oh, huh? yeah. A lot of anonymous. What up, everybody? We have not... Um, been live and in person in a minute. We are back. A little pregame action per usual. You guys submit questions. We love you for it. Um, thank you. And here we go. How long into dating do you think is right to move in together? I have a question. These sure. are all ones we've already done before. Oh. Loud chewer. Friends. Hold on. No, you're thinking of we reviewed these for the live show, but you didn't do them because you only oh. took the ones. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, he yeah. told you. <laughs> Can that be in part of the pregame? This is great. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah, the voice of God, the voice of woo. reason. All right. So okay. back at you. So Anonymous. fuck off, Aaron. <laughs> yep. um, <laughs> how long into dating do you think it's right? Oh, this gal. Fuck off. To the We're doing great. Welcome, everybody, to the Calm Down Podcast. This is the pregame. For those of you not familiar, we already just jumped into our conversation because Aaron and I are all over the place. I have a flight to catch, but we did not want to miss another week of the Calm <laughs> Down Podcast. Okay, here we go. Pregame, per usual. You guys send in questions. We love you for it. I get very excited when there's anonymous, and we have three today. First one, yeah. how long into dating do you think is right to move in together? This is a tough one. I You, you take it because I've got thoughts on this. Well, why is it so tough? Go. It's tough for me because of my, like, I'll just, from my own experience, I was like, had PTSD about people, like, guys I've dated always moved into my house. So yeah. I didn't want to have that happen. And then after the break in, I was like, Steve, do you want to move in? <laughs> and I probably did it faster than I normally would have, but I would just, I wanted to feel safe. And he's like, so great. I was like, and he couldn't be, you know, more different than any other situation in my life. So it was fine. But normally I'm really apprehensive. In fact, I was in two, I was in like a situation in my life where I was always advocating for having two houses. Like you have your house. I have my house. Mm -hmm. We spend time together. We don't always have to be together. Now I like him. So that's a, a, you know, that's a big part of it. But I don't know. The move in thing is tough because you lose a little bit of the mystery. Mm -hmm. There's like, you're not not dating anymore. Like, you know, I called Steve earlier. He didn't answer the phone. And then he called back. He's like, oh, sorry, I was vacuuming. I'm like, you know, it's like great to have like a teammate in the household. But then it's also like, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't feel as sexy if you don't like work at it. You know, I I agree about the sexy part, not on Jared's end, but just me with the, my attitude, my vibe, <laughs> the way I look. It's like, yeah, the mystery has gone. And that's unfortunate. We were dating probably for about a year. And I was like, what are we doing? Because I was living in New York at the time. And he was out here in Los Angeles. And I was just like, listen, dude, this is an expensive ticket to keep going back Ooh, and forth. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And he, I'll say this, he was very, very hesitant about me moving in because he had had a bad experience. Yeah. And so he was just like, I don't want to do this. I want my time. I want to be able to be with my friends. And I basically was like, I'm either moving in or we're breaking up because this did you is really? way too expensive. Yeah, it was too expensive. It's stupid to go back and forth. And did you so feel weird about that? Because you're so independent. I can't see you giving him an ultimatum. I'm surprised that you did that. I'm surprised you took it. <laughs> we'll talk about that on the big show okay we're also gonna talk Go. about we're gonna preview this on the big show too Jarrett and steve and how proud they were of netflix and now they're enjoying being the material of the show they've All opened up a fabric our, store with their own yes, material yeah yes. they, they go, both of them said, oh, we didn't think you guys were that funny. And I'm like, you, speaking of this, you live with us. Just listen. Is there any, I mean, come on, you got a full-time comedian in the house. Although it's not as funny when it's about shit with them at the time. Okay, you're up, girl. 
Uh, oh, you're a oh, perfect, perfect time for this question. Bear of food? Sorry if I just slaughtered that one. Um, how did Jared get your heart? You know, it's a great question. <laughs> Long pause. I'll be honest, and I think like every relationship, everybody goes through stages and you have your ups, your downs, even in the beginning when you're dating, getting married, after you've been married. But how did I, how did I give this guy a chance? Michael Strahan called me because they were friends and he had said, can you set me up with her? And I looked him up and I was like, no. I mean, no. <laughs> Why he, he, he say that? Because he was busy. Like oh, I yeah, he, the he, resume he had, was the dance card was been, full. He had been busy and I mm-hmm. was like, I'm good. And then I decided to go to dinner with him. No, I decided nope. to maybe interact a little engage if you will. And then we were covering the World Series mm-hmm. and he found his way down to the dugout to say hi and that really impressed me. Um so I was like, okay, cool. I'll give this guy a chance. But I think I've I've said this before. I was getting a really bad upper respiratory infection and when I get those and they're getting ready to come on, instead of getting a cold sore on my mouth, I get one right on the edge of my nose and it looks like dried snot. So when he called my name right above the dugout I looked up and I had that dry snot thing. So I had to like move my face kind of like, hey, what's up? And then he asked me if I wanted to go out after the game because we were spending the night in San Francisco and I lied and said I couldn't. But it was only because there was no way I could cover up like the dry snot, like Mm -mm. sore on my nose. Disgusting. Whatever. We live with each other. He gets it now. But I will say this about my husband. How did he really, really catch my heart? We weren't even engaged yet. And... This is what my parents said. He impressed my parents so much when I was diagnosed with cancer and I went in and had a surgery right away and they said, we're going to have to do a hysterectomy. And I started screaming, crying on the phone and saying, I'm not going to get a hysterectomy. I have the Super Bowl this year. There's no way I'm going to be able to find time to do that. And my husband yelled at the doctor and said, we're going to get a second opinion. And the doctor said, get one. They're going to tell you the same thing. And he said, I work in sports. If a doctor ever told me that, I would drop him like, uh, you know, whatever, a hat. And he goes, we're getting a second opinion. And my mom and dad were on the phone with me when that happened. And my mom was like, he really impressed us that day. Mm. So yeah, just how Jared. he handled all of that. Yeah. And then he's grown, obviously, like with our fertility struggles and all of that. But yeah, he's that's kind best. of like stages. He's the best. There's always, I say this about Jared. If you don't get along with Jared, then it's a you problem because that guy walks into a room and can, you know, make friends with anyone. He's the best. Uh, Anonymous friend's husband is a negative vibe killer. Well, I've had a few of those. How do I tell her not to be invited? Well, I just started getting invited to things because I got rid of my dead weight. So um, to answer this question succinctly, I would say, hey, um, depends on how close you are with the friend, but I'd be like, okay, I'm just going to be honest with you. Like your husband has like a certain thing that like makes the mood change or even put it on yourself and be like, you change like, or I change. I don't act like myself when you bring your husband because I don't feel, I feel like he judges me or I feel like I can't be myself around you. So sometimes it's just easier if it's just you. And if she takes offense to that or he takes offense to it, whatever the friend dynamic is there. I don't know. I think like I have a few of these actually. Where like their husband like change like you if do? the person if their person shows up with their husband they act differently and I'm just kind of like oh so really yeah I'm trying to think who that is yeah I'll, yeah offline um right. I I don't say anything because th- they don't matter enough for me to say it but if they're close enough like if you if I didn't love Jared and I'd be like I mean you've had to say it to me I did yeah so do you remember how you said it yo yeah. can't bring that guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just like, it, there's such a difference. I mean, like we spent the whole weekend together, the four of us and had a great time. And I just was thinking of it yesterday as your husband is basically in my kid's playpen, like on all <laughs> fours talking to him like an adult. I was just like, I love our little family yeah. so much. I'm so grateful for it. I feel like your friend knows, but doesn't want to deal with this. Well, anonymous. that's what it was. Yeah. So I think that if if you're, yeah. ask, if you're asking the question, I would say, be honest with her, especially especially if it's a good friend, because yeah. you don't want to have to keep lying. And I always think about this. If I have to lie to my friend, they're not close enough then. Yeah. And get uncomfortable in in order for the relationship to be better and for that situation to get better, or else you're going to always have to manufacture some bullshit lie and that gets 
stupid. That like, sucks. Yeah. Yep. All right, Tanya Marie, 33, falling in love with a loud chewer. Is it possible? I have so many thoughts with this. Mm -hmm. Add loud chewer plus a jaw popper. That's Jared from getting hit in the jaw so much. So I get, I got to be honest, I'll say it. I can't eat a burrito with my man. My Mm -hmm. man eating a burrito, I got the pop and the chew, the pop and the chew. I literally looked at him yesterday as I was a tad irritable and hungover after we had a great weekend. We'll get to that in the big show. I said, you got to turn on the TV. I need some music. Uh I need some background noise. I can't hear the pop and the chew. Nope. Boop. I'm with you 100%. I I don't even give an opportunity to hear the Great. chewing. Just go straight to the TV. I don't want to hear myself chew. No. No. I need I need some ambient noise always with the chewing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, anonymous, I have a bunch of guy friends having a hard time not catching feelings, making a move. I have a bunch of guy friends having a hard time not catching and making a move. So wait, I'm confused. Do you understand this question? I have a bunch of guy friends having a hard time not catching feelings. Okay, so she's having feelings for one of her guy friends. Should she make a move? Yeah. I'm all about mm-hmm. living in the now and be a bigger yeah. person than I am. Yeah, but you just told me that you gave Jared an ultimatum. Like, I uh, that oh. surprises me. That's, like, very forward. And I wouldn't think that you would do that because normally we're, we're gals that want to be, like, approached and feel. Like, we're so assertive in all other aspects of our life that we want True. the guy to come to us. I, I don't. I'm a super flirtatious person. Like, you? Uh, me? I was the biggest fl- hi- uh, flirt in high school. I still am a flirt. I totally i am a flirt. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't have the balls, though, to like actually, or I didn't, make a move on any of my guy friends. I didn't really have any guy friends I wanted to date. I love you guys as friends, obviously. But yeah, oh, I, I just... You did? Yeah, in high school. Not like working. Well, obviously now I'm married. No. Not pre Jared e- either. Not any guys I worked with I was interested in. No, I just automatically, I remember They're thinking. They're all my best and, friends. And I remember telling Tony this too. And Toby, who I love more than anything, his wife, she wouldn't care if I said this. I remember before I worked with Tony Gonzalez, I was like, God, Tony's so hot. I mean, hello. If you have eyes, you can see that sure. Tony's hot. It smells great. And then we started working together and I was like, oh, he's like my brother. Like it imme- yeah. like immediately becomes like, nah. Like same yeah. So, anywho. Uh, but I don't know. I, I, I'm not good to give you advice on that. I would just say, ask around and see if he's interested in you and have him make the move. You're up, sister. Yeah. Uh, Jaywick13, any dating advice for a 45-year-old girl in LA, huge sports fan, seems simple, right? Mm. Help. Yes. Send me your information. I have a couple yep. of guys that are single that I want to set up with from my crew that are my best friends. Mm-hmm. I'm not kidding. And I need you to be a sports fan because I want you to understand my friend's schedule and that he's on the road and that, yep. yeah, send us your info. I'm send not us. kidding. What if Calm Down Sh- Podcast had a, what if they were the Michael Strahan's of the world? They put together me or Stray put Jarrett and I together. What if we set somebody and- up? The Stafford put us together, so yeah. I feel like we have to pay it forward. Let's become a dating service. Well, I think we should date or we should host a dating show, to be honest with you, because of our track record. <gasps> Let's be honest. We're one for one. Come on, Jaywick 13. Come on down. Don't mm-hmm. make us rewind to our August episode last year, girl. You're right. We've got a we got a global track record on our one for one. Jaywick 13, lucky number 13. Look Send us that. your stats. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I got a guy. I got a guy. He He's amazing. He wants Ooh. to settle down. He works on my crew. I'm not going to say his name out loud. Okay, he well, he is so this. wonderful. Mm. I got a guy. So is this McDonald's Diet Coke. All right. We love you guys. See you on the big show. Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. For more podcasts from iHeartRadio, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.